Welcome to Date with Danu right here on High TV, your luxury channel. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Tis the season to be happy, what do you say? And we have a fabulous show lined up. They're all so too talented. And we also have someone who nearly just got off the deathbed. <laughs> As my first guest on the show, I have someone who can move. He can also sing, he can act, he has done theatre. The list just goes on. He is someone who milked the true value of what social media is all about. He's definitely a pioneer in that. We'll speak more with Dushyant Veeraman. Who is Dushyant? Ah, oh, boy. I guess I'm just like everybody else doing various things. I'm into art, I'm into music. A lot of people know me as that, I like a recording artist or a performing artist. Also, I've been friends with Danu like, a, I don't know, a million years ago. And I uh, was always interested to come on this show. And I watched a few programs. Uh, not the one that my wife was in, <laughs> but uh, I saw the three sisters, uh, Shanadri, uh, Sheshadri, and if I forget the other one, she's going to... Shanuki. No, not Shanuki. Shoot. Dinakshi. Yes, Dinakshi. <laughs> it's just that I think of you so much, I forget your name. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that, that program was really good. I liked it. And... Um, um, yeah, I didn't see Stephanie's program yet. I thought it was useless for me to watch. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I think he can lose some weight. <laughs> He's gonna kill me for this. He's a guy that I've uh, uh, known for a long time. He's always been a guy who's searching for himself and a world around him and uh, I have seen so many uh, like transformations of Danu and the way that he is today is um, it's like it's like a raw stone and you turn it into a gem like he's really a person who's found himself and is doing really well so and he's with a tribe shirt. Where did you get this shirt from? I got it as a gift. It's very tribe. Yeah, it's from Africa. Oh. It's time for Africa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome to the show. Thank you so very much for being here. I know you have a very tight schedule. You're running off to them. sing yeah. at a wedding. I know it's the month of December. Everyone thinks so busy. Yeah, yeah. Now, quickly, it's I in want... Gaul. It's in Gaul. Yeah, yeah. Now, thanks to the highway, dear, we can go <laughs> in and on. Yeah. All right, here, I wanted to ask you, when you got on social media mm -hmm. and when you started doing your page, yeah. social media was quite new to Sri Lanka. Yes. And everyone liked your page. Yes. I think Sri Lanka had seven pages to like yes. at that time. Yeah. How did you foresee social media at that time? Oh, so I had two fans. Um, one day came to me and said, Dushant, this is like long, long time ago, yeah. even before, like just when the internet came. Huh? Okay. No, 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 more like uh, websites are getting popular. Yeah, like, more like after Hi-Fi. The yeah. era post after yeah. Hi-Fi. So yeah. he, they came to me and said... I was an infant, by the way, at that time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so they came and said, uh, Dushant, we'd like to do a website for you. Oh, okay. So that's my... Uh, start. Uh, yeah, start for the social media stuff. So with them, I was always into You're this. training into this yes. whole social media. I think because... I had the first artist website in Sri Lanka. Oh, really? Yeah. Because you know why? Dushyant has one of the biggest following on social media of over 4 million. <laughs> no, nobody has 4 million in Sri Lanka. Oh, really? No, it, it's, it's all right. Yeah. Oh. At one point, uh, I think uh, I had the highest artist yes. page in Sri Lanka. And I was the third next to uh, Mahindra Rajapaksa and Kumar Sangakkar. Right, that's yes. cool. Yeah. All right, so uh, now you have, you have not aged in the public eye. You've always been the Dushyant 
<laughs> known for Dushyant's moves and Dushyant's yeah. dance, and nobody even cares to know how old you have become. It's <laughs> a problem. <laughs> that's, a, that's a problem actually, because even yes. if your bones fall apart, you they <laughs> still expect you to yeah. do that move. So uh, that was like 20 years ago when my bones were actually not. Once I, I was at a supermarket, I was paying at the cashier, and mm. some lady looked at me and said, and she recognized me suddenly, and like, we are Naki Villa. <laughs> like, okay, where have you been in the last 10 years? <laughs> That's quite true though. Yeah. So, uh, the first time I met Dushyant was during his uh, era of um, dancing star. I think, uh, I think the whole world or the nation no, watched, yeah, 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 yeah. the nation watched reality shows at that time. Yeah, I there think was, that was the highest rated uh, reality show in Sri Lanka. Second highest rated to the 1996 World Cup finals which Sri Lanka won. Wow. Because you know why? Because at the time when, when you were in the whole public eye of dancing star, I think Sri Lanka was getting used to these whole reality shows. Yes. And that era, the stars who were made and who were born during that era are stars up to date. Because yes, can say it, so. it, it's one of the <laughs> biggest platforms. Now, because now there's a reality show. There's a peak a... of television yeah. and the dying, uh, the, the beginning of the death of television, I would <laughs> say, at the time. Yeah. So that was his peak. Yeah, that was the peak, and it was such a wonderful time. Tell me about your experience being a part of your shot at H2O for the <laughs> longest time. That's where your shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is fun. Yeah. It's more like a home for me. Yeah. So you want to like how I got in no, there? No, how was it after? Oh boy, after was wonderful until I broke my leg three months later. Mm. Right. But and you also was, signed up for a movie at that time. Yes. So that was the challenge for me. So I was. Uh, Starring in the movie, and we had to change the script accordingly. And I had to act after an injury as like a normal person, as well as an injured guy. Oh. So that was tough. But more or less, Dancing Star took me to a, like it. Honestly, you started. I started feeling that larger than life thing, yeah. and it was a problem. You know, sometimes you think, no, you are not, but the society forces you to be that. Yeah, and then you have a, you know, <laughs> riff with the society. Yeah. You, it's not that you lose your friends, you just go out of touch with your friends, right. your family, your relatives, some people who don't know you want to be best your, your best friend and some who are your closest people, they're distant from you, yeah. thinking you're a superstar. And it's a like whole you know, big There's thing going on. There's a ball game of changes. And it's a huge challenge. It, 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 sometimes you just become so lonely because you, in the public, you have everybody, like, there have been times I've come home after a huge show and I haven't had many people to, like, share that experience. And mm. it was a new experience for me, like 25,000 people. Mm. It's a new experience for me as well. But to come home and, and relate to that to somebody. Tell the story to someone. Yeah, because if, like, it's... It's just people have spaced out or put you in a box that you don't know yes. how and you fit into you, it. It's so lonely, you cry and you go to bed. You, you yeah. crying to your sleep. Crying to your sleep. All right, th these are sides that you'll never get to know unless you speak to them. Um, now, just speaking so openly, I also wanted to get someone uh, who will go hand in hand with Dushant. Now, Dushant comes from a very mass uh, reach to his singing, but he started with Auntie Marian. And Auntie Marian always says one of the best voices, uh, him and his brother both uh, always championed. But, now, before we get into that, we need to introduce our second guest. But after the break, do stick around. Welcome back to the show. It's Date with Dano. And as my next guest, I have a pair who's joining us. Colombo was mesmerized with this band. After a very long time, we had a band that people actually called by name and said, we want them to sing. And it was really nice to see them like sweat and like have buckets of water just coming out of their bodies because that's the amount of energy that they had on the stage. And it was all managed by this one lady, I tell you. She was the driving force behind this key vocalist. I have the two of them on the show. I have the man from Slipping Chairs, X, Dylan and Hesh. Hi, I'm Dylan. I'm a singer-songwriter. I used to be the frontman for a band called The Slipping Chairs, and now I'm focusing on my solo career. And I'm here to go on a date with them. All right, so it's my first time on the show, uh, and I'm looking forward to taking the.
Mr. Danu and I have no idea what, what, uh, what he has on me but uh, I don't think he'll have a lot but let's see, let's find out. Mr. Danu is, I think, a self-absorbed but also an overall nice guy but still a at heart. Hi, I'm Hesh. Um, it's my first time on the show. Um, I currently manage a villa down south. Used to manage a band before. Um, I'm here to go on a date with Danu. Date with Danu, I've seen the show before and I was trying to avoid it, but <laughs> yeah, here I am. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Most of the charade section of it, not really the dirt. He comes off with a bit of a, a, bit of a pompous guy, but uh, I think he's all right. <laughs> Dylan and Hesh joins us on the show. Hello. Hi. So, uh, just to let you all know, uh, Hesh might leave this show abrupt. Uh, she's having. Going issues. <laughs> going. <laughs> Just wanted to share so that any in case, you know. Yeah, I ran away. Yeah. <laughs> She's having the runs. What did you give her, Dylan? <laughs> the runs. <laughs> <laughs> when I met Dushant for the first time, Dushant came for a show that I used to do called Planet Pulse. I still like that. Planet <laughs> Pulse yes. recording. Yeah, and he used to walk around with an organizer as well those days. Like a diary oh, organizer. Yeah. You remember that? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, like an organizer, like a diary organizer. Okay. You came in a light blue polo t-shirt with white linen pants and brown shoes. I still remember because we had a problem balancing the light. It was just too light. <laughs> it was just light blue, light blue. Like, oh, it was so hot. So that was the first time I met you and after that he was taking part for um, uh, for Dancing Star. Yeah. But you know, I was to meet you before that. Right. Phantom, when you acted the first time when Phantom was on stage. Yes. Mm. I was supposed to be the other you. Oh, other yeah. level. Correct. Ah. See, such past I wanted to share. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, let's come to your theatre career in a bit. So, Dylan, mm. let's start off with how much you have lost weight. I never recognized him, to be honest. Like, I. But from the last time I met you, I put on weight. Huh? Excuse me. <laughs> 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 Uh, actually, I might have run about. You kilo. have actually. actually kilo, kilo, okay. It's quite obvious. Quite um, <laughs> 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 obvious. It's quite obvious. I can see. Uh, so tell me, um, how did you lose weight? Because I couldn't recognize you when I saw you at that wedding. I actually spoke to him like I don't know you. Yeah, he did that. He actually yeah. spoke to me like he didn't know me. Yeah. No, so I just. Ah, by the way, how was it to get the treatment that you give others? Ignorance. <laughs> 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 Can I swear on the show? <laughs> okay, tell me. No, sir, I, I just, I, I, I figured it was time for him to do something about, because mm. I was getting... You were missing certain there. parts of your body, you couldn't <laughs> see I, 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 couldn't, <laughs> I, I, couldn't, I couldn't see certain yeah. parts of my body, mm. so I just looked down, you know. Yes. <laughs> it was difficult wow. to find it, you know. So, so I decided to go on, on a diet. She's still here, mother. Uh, yeah, exactly. Even after losing Thanks. weight, you couldn't wear your socks for your shoes. <laughs> no, I couldn't, no. I, I still can't bend, though. No. Oh. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, Hesh, uh, you were the manager for the band or for only for him? No, for the band. For the band? Yeah. No, first oh. for me. Ah, no, right. it was for the band. No, no, for the band. Yeah, okay. was How was it to manage the boys? Um, it was good, actually. It was people not... always thought you were a very strict person. No. And you, uh, right. So there was a set of people who said that you can never approach Dylan because the wife is there. Mm. <laughs> okay. I, I think I made it look that way okay. so that... Um, I don't know, okay. like I could keep certain people away. away. <laughs> oh, mm. right, right, right. Mm. Uh, and how was it? How was it to manage the band? It was really good, actually. Um, um, I really enjoyed it. And yeah, the boys were tough at times, but yeah, managed to work it out somehow. Okay. Now, Dushant, you are in a band today. Yes. And I think two. 
two. I have two bands. My gosh. Yeah. So how how does it feel? Because now people get a chance to like interact with you on a personal exactly. level. Exactly. Yeah, isn't it fun that way? Absolutely. That's the whole point. I started this. Like I told you before, there were times that I know when you are like become this larger than life big star, it comes to point where it hurts you. So I came to point I thought, okay, I can't give up on my career and I can't stop singing and be be with this Dushant Piraman. I need to figure out a way to you know, be, have a normal life. So then I thought, okay, I still can sing and be whoever I want to be if I had a band. And mm. there were so many other reasons also, like, you know, I, I needed a band to, you know, play my music and you know, be more exposed to the industry in a different way as a, as a musician, as, an, mm. as a singer, rather than just being a dancer, because I was more known as a dancer now. So, but now that I'm in a band, it's a whole different thing. It's a new experience for me. Like, you know, it's not like working as a solo artist because if you're a recording artist, you're being very responsible. You need, you're, you're, you're running a company. It's mm. like you're running a brand and you're responsible for everything. But here, you're singing cover songs, you're not producing, and you're singing the songs you love to sing. And there's a bunch of good guys around you who's, you know, got, you know, good music health in them. So, it's a very different life. It's very um, easy going. You just have a good time. Absolutely. And they and pay you for it. Yes. And the thing is, there are two bands. Like I said, I had two bands. So one is for the corporates and the weddings and the, col- the, the full Columbus scene. And then the other one is for the concerts and the Dushanthi and mass market scene. Mm. So the two different things. Uh, concert thing scene is seen, still the same thing what I was doing before. So you're still being that Dushant Virman on stage and that... Mm celebrity artist kind of thing. But with Kurumba, the band which is more popular in Colombo, we are doing all, you know, gigs in hotels, so it's always good food and good drink and good laughs and you know and good music. So it's awesome right now. It's fun. All right. So uh, somebody just decided to run away from Colombo and that's of course Dylan. Uh, uh, due to high demand I think. Uh, oh I don't know why. So I'm going to ask that when we do come back. But right now, I need to make you all do something. And it's all on social media. So, in your dinosaur era, mm. <laughs> why aren't you all typing? What? I thought you were done. No, type. Type nice things about me. Mm. You, you are not on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter? No. Nothing? Nothing. So, if there is hot news, you never come to know about it unless no. your wife tells you. Yeah, I'm always the last to know everything. What to do? Anyway, so, uh, are you done? You, shall I help you tag me? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Alright, so, Dushant. Yes. I wanted to speak about your time with Auntie Marian. Yes. Okay. You and your brother both studied with her? Yeah, he, he was there for a longer time. I was there for a very short time. And how nine years it? versus nine months. Nine years versus nine months. That's yes. it. Yes. So you remember Showboat? Yes. The Karaka Championship. So I won it in year two thousand. And Just to let you all know, I used to see it from afar because we youngsters were not allowed to go in there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. So after I won the championship, Marian said. Your son, Dush, Dush, the Santosh's brother, and you can sing. And like, how come you did not join my class? And huh? she for, said, okay, next week, next week you're, you're coming starting, to my that's class. That's it. Yes. So there you went down. So then I did. Ramakrishna a, Road. Yes. <laughs> so we did the Mozart Requiem and a few shows and like that. And I was trying to grow my hair like this. So I was just after school. Oh, you got kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't get kicked out. I didn't get kicked out. She wanted me to cut my hair, huh? and I was actually sitting next to. Dr. Tampigama, who had a nice Pony. <laughs> ponytail yeah. as well, but he was not from Marian, he was from the, the Philharmonic Choir. Oh, okay. Right? And uh, I thought if he could have a ponytail, why not be? But uh, actually, the reason was my hair was still growing and it was popping from uh, all over, and she wanted me to like. Sleek, neat. Yeah, but then again, uh, she kind of put me to a spot and said, Are you going to cut your hair or not? not. I said, uh, I said, Not. Then she gave me an option the following day at the rehearsal at Lionel went in front of everybody. It's either you cut your hair or you leave. So, and you opted for the second option. I opted Man, second you really way. love your hair. Yeah, I love my hair. <laughs> Alright, we're getting into but one word. Just to be fair by her, she was also in a lot of pressure. That kind of 
to get out of me and on that day. Yeah. Uh, but it's me, fine. And, and, and the tenor line, have now made and up. I, and I have a whole tenor line we were playing Fox Day that yeah. time. <laughs> but now you all have all made up. And like, yes, absolutely. Oh my God, yeah. yes. We have something called One Word, this fabulous segment that I really enjoy. Three, two, one. One Word. All right, it's time for One Word, and I'm going to start with you. Okay. You're quiet, no, you're saying it like a nice little <laughs> petite thing. All right. Hesh, tell us a talent of Dylan that only you know about. Dancing. If Dylan was to serenade you musically, what would be the song he will choose to sing? Mm. Lightning crashes. What's the worst rumor you've heard about Dylan? Except for the fact that he was, in general, very arrogant and... I don't know, I haven't really heard a rumor because... Okay. Yeah. Nothing? No, you I You are haven't. refusing to hear them? No, yeah. They were right in front but of you. But they're scared to tell me. They've also see? recruited some of them. <laughs> <laughs> the rumors. <laughs> yeah, they recruited the rumors. <laughs> Do you like the fat Dylan or the thin Dylan? Thin one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dushant, I'm coming to you now. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Dylan, to you. What was your favorite venue to perform? Tap House or Long Bar? And why? Tap House. Why? I don't know. Tap House just felt like home for some reason. I mean, we played there for so long. And then it, it is just, I mean, the crowds just kept getting bigger and bigger. And it was, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Okay. Kurumba, Dr. Misty. If you, if you have to remarry the same person again, okay. who would you book and why? I, I'm not saying it because he's here, but I will definitely book Kurumba. Question number three. If you had to describe these people in a song title, how would you describe them? Your first name, Dominic Keller. Born to be white. Ashin Bernard. No. <laughs> <laughs> cut. 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 Oh my third God. name. <laughs> third <laughs> name. Third name. Danu Inati Tambi. If I was a journey song, I open arms. Aww. All right, okay. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Wow. In your wow. nine year journey in the industry, who have hit on you most? Men or women? Men. Are you scared of your wife? No. Dushan. I am. <laughs> I am. He looked at me also. Awesome. Dushant, to you. Yeah. Hashini or Stephanie, who is the better dancing partner? Hashini. But Stephanie is a better... Is a, she, she can break poles, darling. <laughs> no, she's a, um, let's say, qualified dancer. But Hashini is a, like a born talent. Kind of, right. Say so. both sides. <laughs> Do you think Dushant and Santush would have lasted as a band? No. <laughs> <laughs> Rank them according to your preference. Billy Fernando, BNS, Randir, Sanuka. Talent White, I would say um, Sanuka, awesome singer and a musician. Uh, Billy Fernando, number two. Bharti Santush, number three. Because they're two people, right? Yeah. If not, I would say Bhatia, Randir, Santosh. <laughs> okay. Pumi Hansamali, mm. Anarkali, Hashini. Who was your favorite co star on a music video? Hashini. If Michael Jackson was right now in front of you, would you scream, faint, or sing? Singing would be a good option. I also thought so. All right, let's get into a break. We'll see you on the other side. Do stick around. It's a date with Dhanu on High TV. It's date with Dhanu. Now, before we get into all the sticky, juicy conversation, let's ease them into the show. Let's play charades. Let's play charades. Right, ready? I won't be able to see your expressions, Santu. This is second. That's because I was thinking in my head that I should not call him Santush. 
Dushyant, because uh, you have covered most of your face. Remove something, no, for me to see. <laughs> from your face, I mean. Okay, right. Ready? Now, much better. Ta-da! Ta-da! Pedaling. Oh. Riding. Bike. Riding two coconuts. <laughs> One coconut. One word. Motorist. Pedaling. Ah, Pedaling. <laughs> Pedaling. Hey, yo. Bicycle. Bicycle. Yeah. So I said pedaling, no? Pedaling. Bicycle. Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. Why did you do this for? Why did you do two wheels? Because you're saying pedaling, pedaling is both wheels. Please note, mind in the gutter. Yeah. Okay. Rope. Kite. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get up now. <laughs> Cow. <laughs> Very good, <laughs> na? <laughs> Let's see my acting qualities when we do come back. Alright. Let's start with you, Dylan. Show me. <laughs> this boy doesn't even know. Um, okay. <laughs> Sing, DJ. No, that is not the song. What is this like jazz or or, or singing? Is it, is it singing? Is it a person? Mm. Ah, it's a person. Mm. The friend. You win all the bad hung dog. Thanks. So making noises is fine. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you? Oh. Spider Man. Spider. Ah. Spider. Spider. Easy one. That was easy. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, eating apple. Um, 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 uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. No, 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 Putting something in something. <laughs> Shopping! Oh. I don't know. Oh. Shopping! Oh, no. oh, my God. This was my bun and that was the sausage. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm actually tired. Let's get into the break. We'll see you after this. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. It's a date with Danu, and it's time that we get into sticky situ. Sticky situ. Right now, it's time to bring out some juice. Now, I will start with uh, your all income. Mm -hmm. Now, this factor about the fact that you are a real padder. A pudder. That's what they uh, okay. called you, like quite uppish. Okay. Is it true? Or yes. is it just that you have changed now with the weight going off you? Well, I'm not pudder now. Yeah, I want to know. <laughs> so you were I, I don't have that amount of pudder either now. <laughs> you were pudder before, right? No. No? I wasn't pudder. I was just too damn tired to give a damn about anybody. That's the whole thing. <laughs> right? That's the whole point. So I was just too tired all the time. That's you, you're not fit. I was not fit, so clearly. But you were singing. Yeah, but there's only. But people enough. were just appreciating you. What is, have you annoyed people, wife? Uh -huh. Has he put people off? Yeah, yeah. a lot of times. Have people I stopped talking say. to you? Yeah. Is that why the band so, yeah. split? No. Oh. That's not why the band. Why did the band split? Because I had 
I, I needed me time. And was the band happy with it? <coughs> Not Didn't all, matter. I think. Was it a decision that you all made as a band? No. No, it was a decision I made. decided to <gasps> quit. I decided you to quit. Selfish, <laughs> selfish man. Here, I gave that band nine years of my life. Right, all right? So let me finish this. <laughs> selfish, selfish man. Why did you uh, decide to do that? The more you play, the, the, the less of a life you, you have. But you sleep in the day, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about sleep. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> but then, are they still talking to you, the band members? Yeah, we still talk to each other off and on. Often. Off and on. Off and on. Most of them still Most speak to us and we hang out with No, but I don't have a phone anyway, so. That's true. Well, I keep in yeah. Why is it that you don't uh, own a phone? <laughs> Who, me? So the story in Colombo is the fact that you are the one with the strict, uh, you are the one with the wallet in your hand. Like, you don't like let anything go out. That is true. True. <laughs> That's huh? true. She's not even denying. She's <laughs> not even denying. You don't even try to deny. Keep everything together. That is so, true. So yeah. you are the one. You are the decision maker. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think he's too flimsy, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, responsible, but thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, that's a nice yeah. way of saying it. How am I too flimsy? Man. No, you look at the way you're seated. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with the way I'm seated? Uh, so okay, was this a love marriage? Yes. Yeah. Who proposed? He did. Oh, got that right. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, let's say I got it right. <laughs> the proposal part. Yeah, the proposal yeah. part. Mm. No, we don't want to say that. No, no. <laughs> okay, Dush, I have a rumor. But I, you can clarify. Rumors. Yeah, so rumors are kind of, sometimes can be true and sometimes okay. false. <coughs> All right. So there was a movie that you were acting in. The superstar movie. Do you feel that you dancing got star. Huh? Dancing the dancing star. star? Do you feel that you were sidelined in that movie? Yes. You were. And did you feel that they gave other people? What was the purpose? What do you think the reason could have been? Oh boy. Okay. This is the first time that this story is coming out. <laughs> well, it's definitely not just a rumor. It's something that you have an understanding of people in the industry, have, mm. right? Because you won the title, but you were not the one who. Yes. Was... So what happened was. The, the producers who did the movie, their intention was to do the movie with a certain actress. And to do this particular movie, they needed a set. The movie was Dancing Star. So the Dancing Star movie came before the Dancing Star competition, actually. right? So when they understood that they need to make a huge set for the Dancing Star movie, they thought we might as well do a reality program with that set. So then they can they, that they can use it for the movie. So you had not won the title when you were acting in the movie. No, 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 no. You're getting confused now. Sorry, it's a long story. I'm always confused. Uh, okay, <laughs> basically, the producers of both this competition ah, right, and right. the movie, right? What they want to do was not a competition at the beginning. They want to do a movie. Right. So they had already selected a certain star to be in the movie. Oh, got gotcha. Right. So they expected that person to at least come close to winning. Right. <laughs> right. Which did never happened. Right, but I got Bishan to hear you talking about. came and won. won the thing, missed their plans. So they had to use Dushan Freeman because the public wanted Dushan Freeman to be the, the star in the movie. But the producers had their different plans. So, right. So they had to somewhat sideline me. Uh, Are you in conversation with this star? The oh, other yeah, yeah, yeah. I, because I he's a nice not, fellow. I, I have nothing to do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. And the other thing it's that nothing I, to do with me or him. Yeah, it was a it was an internal battle that yes, yes, they yes. had to sit. Up. So the other story that I heard from there is the fact that you were soon offered a movie right after, which I acted in as well. Hmm. Um, but the courting price of Dushant was too expensive, and they said no. Yes, I I thought no, no, no. I gave a price and they couldn't afford me, so I said no. Okay, never mind, don't. It's not just one movie. There are so many. That's yeah. why I never want to get into movies. Like you're, you're just wasting your time. That you is know? kind of true. So, you know, end of the day, I'm thinking, okay, I have my talents. I have my opportunities in Sri Lanka. And, uh, you know, and when, you, when you're on, on that limelight, you get a lot of stuff. So you need to know what you're doing. So you need to know your price. So I have given my price. If they can't afford it, that's fine. But it's I not think, a humor. But you are the only star, I think, who won a good gift out of all the reality shows. Yeah, so even Dancing Star, right? So I had quoted my price, and the way that they were trying to negotiate with me was saying that, so these, all these senior artists cannot be paid more than you. I said, I am the star in the movie, and uh, 12.8 million people watched that final, 
and now you're producing a movie called Dancing Star and I have the Dancing Star style, the, the, the title. title. And you're making a movie about Dushyan Firman in his real name. So, <laughs> so I knew my importance mm. or my, 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 the value of my character. So that's how I code. But the system is not like that. They're like, no, the seniors have to be paid more than the juniors. That's okay. You know, it doesn't matter whether you're talented or whether you're in demand. Mm. So it did, I did not agree to that. So that's, so it's not a rumor. That's how it's it is. the truth. Hesh, are you okay? Yes. Yeah. She looks quite stressed. <laughs> Look at you, and he's also super stressed. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> that was a lot. There was a lot of passion that came out of the answer. A lot of passion. <laughs> I also kind of lost what I need to do on the show now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will get into questions. This is when you can win prizes. Mm. Really? Yes. All right, this game works in a very simple way. I'll be asking 10 questions. The one who gets in the highest amount of answers wins the gift today. All right. What's your favorite book to read? Read this, that is. <laughs> What did you say? Read it. It's so harsh. Concentrate. Okay. What makes you laugh the most? You. Stephanie. <laughs> You're fast. <laughs> what was the last movie you went to? I went to Ford vs Ferrari. Did you say anything? Yeah, I went to. Ah, oh. actually last movie. Uh, what did you want to be when you were small? Pilot. Okay. What does your child want to be when he's small? I don't have a child. <laughs> good, one. Good, good, one. good one, good one, good one. What's your favorite family vacation? Really? Christmas. Oh. I think it was a tie, I think. Yeah. No! What? Sorry. I said New really much. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. would you change about yourself? Nothing. My tummy. <laughs> what really makes you angry? Stephanie. <laughs> That's easy, I'm not easy. Every, I'm not easy. Every, every, what motivates you to work hard? Stephanie. <laughs> Kaboom! What's your favorite thing about your career? Hesini. <laughs> That's a cheat, man. That's a cheat. That's a proper cheat. <laughs> you can't okay. Me, I'm giving all of y'all a gift. Great. <laughs> Okay. All right, welcome back. And right now we have uh, gone through some social media photographs. Dushant, of course, puts a lot of things on social media. Very active and all. But doesn't know how to post a picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> I had to help him out. You tagged me, I didn't find your tag still. I huh? tagged you. I don't know how you it marketed sleeping chair. It did well, no? Yes. Uh, <laughs> but you have not tagged me. <laughs> I can't find you. You haven't marketed yourself. Well. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I think you need to manage that. I tagged that. you. Yeah. What, what, I whatever, can always. Whatever Columbus speaks now. about you is true. <laughs> 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 All right. Dushyan, mm -hmm. I have a few questions about this picture. Are you trying to hang yourself because you're with her or you're just... <laughs> No, this is this That's was taken the during uh, the video shoot. But you're like you have like a cord around your. What were yes, you doing? Yes, so basically. S and M. Something like the that. The single version of S and M. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meeting. Yeah. Ella no ara gaden meet. Yeah, so she's playing a she's playing a character called Omari Lata. Ah, and she wanted you in. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Lanu <laughs> Haragini. It's a wave. It's a wave. Cane, cane. It's a cane. Nine men. Yeah, it's a cane. But it's going around your neck, no? <laughs> no, no it's not. So Some oh. I'm also blind, <laughs> are you? All right, so. I you all want to say something, did I? I that's not me, that's Bernie, no? I know, yeah. man, that's the whole point. <laughs> ah. Ashin Bernard was also on this show. Do you want to say something? Do you want to say something, Diran? No. For hurting his feelings? That's my no. best friend. That's your best friend. He says that to everyone. Great. That's your best friend too, no? Yeah. Dushan? Yes. Sometimes I tell you, dear, please tell me they paid you for this shoot. <laughs> oh, yes. Good. Yes. Because for this to remain on social media, they should have paid you. Are you still on? Yeah. They should be paying me more. <laughs> <laughs> they should keep paying you. We did this in 2000. They should pay me as well for getting this here. Uh, Lishan. That's nice, huh? Okay. So, yeah. He can't see anything because he's wearing shades in the house. No, the light is bouncing. <laughs> ah, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, so what about this bitch? It's a bit wrong, is it? <laughs> what about this picture? Just say something <laughs> about your wedding day or... Oh, I think... Uh, I, I go to about 150, 200 weddings for a year because... But that's your wife. No, I'm just trying to tell you, right? <laughs> right. So, I'm very familiar with weddings uh. and still by far this is the best. Uh. And... Amazing. I was told Stephanie was so late that she even barely made it to the altar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it was an amazing experience because the whole family and very, very important friends, the closest people, they came all the way to Italy and it was in a very, very uh, beautiful, unique place. Mm. Um, yeah, something that you can only think that happens in a movie. It was very extraordinary. Amazing. Tell about y'all. How long have we all been together for? Oh my God, my fat days. I know. Nothing has Even changed. Even I look, oh my God. <laughs> Your mouth yeah. is still fat. <laughs> yeah, I'm also quite fat in this. So tell me, how many years have you all been together? Nine. Nine yeah, years? Nine years. Ah, yeah. so from the time of sleeping chairs? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, so before that you all started, did you make him like get into the band? No. I feel uh, like... Well, the sleeping chairs, yes. I feel um, like you have such a passion about you to make things out of something or nothing. Well, no, he already had the talent, so I... What are you trying to say? I, this is nothing? <laughs> <laughs> nothing on another story. I had drunkard talent. It was just, you know, guided into sobriety. Uh, who is this man? Oh, that's Greg. That's our agent in Goa. Oh, for what? Yeah. He, for the he's man. the guy oh, <laughs> Got the wrong one. No. Yeah, sorry. he's the guy who took the sleeping chairs to uh, India. Oh. You had an affair with her, right? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> How long? Who is that? Um, so... Do you, like, we do you of... still keep in touch? No, no. No. She's not in the country anymore. Oh. But you all made such a cute couple, though. Yeah. Nothing against Stephanie, though. She will kill me. She'll land on my head. <laughs> uh, just quickly, let's quickly move on. Dushant, yes. I like you like this and I took this picture for that. Does oh. he look absolutely mm -hmm. nice with his haircut? Thank you. So that's... Uh, when you were playing I, Phantom? Yes. No, I was playing Raul in, in Phantom. Phantom. Yeah, yeah. correct. Hmm. That looks good. Don't you think so? Yeah. Vote? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Vote? Yeah. Yeah. Cut so your hair. You need, yes. It's not the hair, it's the shape. It's the whole thing, just cut everything okay. off. Uh, Dylan? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Funny story, you know what happened? What? You were drunk. No, I lost <laughs> <laughs> I lost all our wedding all pictures wedding and those pictures. are the only ones that are there. The now. ones on Facebook, we have a <laughs> total of nine pictures, that's all we have. Why? What happened? Um, well, he deleted it I, on I the him. laptop. Also <laughs> hard drive as well? Yeah. yeah. Who took these pictures? Now Louis. you know why Louis. she's Louis. the manager. <laughs> 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 so actually that's one of the that's um, one of the happiest moments and that's the only picture yeah. we have of it. We so have who about, took the pictures? Actually, yeah. Ruin took the pictures. So you can ask him. He, yeah, so he had yeah. half the pictures. The other half was taken by a friend. He also doesn't have it now. Oh my God. You could have divorced him for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll make new memories. Yeah. Now I will give you all these pictures, no date with Danu. Mm. Yeah. Okay, Dushant, your time to talk. That's the fam bam. Yes, that's the fam bam. Uh, what more? What can I say? Kick this the two is, vibes out, that's this, it. They like everything, everything for me. Now, this is the Dylan I remember. The arrogant, sleeping chair Dylan. I do don't you look arrogant in that picture. You do. Even my dog is very innocent until it bites. <laughs> 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 okay. And that's the Dushant I remember. Hey, she is more arrogant in this yeah. than here. Hey, she looks like don't come close yeah. to us. <laughs> <laughs> the chair on your face. No. The chair slipped on your face. <laughs> I'm so happy you grew out of this. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah, I mean. Well, it's been what? Like now, ten, of course, ten, everyone is like, everyone has done this Michael Jackson so much. You can give, like, if Michael Jackson was alive today, if 2019 had to groom him and style him, he'll look like this. But this was. Hit. A hit, come yeah. on. Of course. You cried, no, when Michael Jackson died? Someone Auntie. made me cry, actually. No, somebody asked you a question. Yeah, and you cried and you ran away from the set as well. Yeah, because I didn't want to cry in front of. But I always wanted as to why they interviewed you. Exactly. Call the Michael Jackson from Indian Lanka. Ah, Dushan, Indian Lanka. It was one of those. 
No, I think they they kind of sucked me into it. And you and cried, and it was just tears yeah. of all joy. That was a bigger news than the news <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dylan, so what are you doing right now in Gaul? Just so that people will know. No, You're a solo so, artist now? No, so what we do is like, uh, so my, my brother-in-law and his partner, uh, they own a place called Zephyr. Okay. Which is in Mirissa and which is in Talalla. So Hesh and I run the villa in Talalla. Oh, that's amazing. And then I, uh, I play in Unavatuna and in Hikadu. Brilliant. Well, it's nearly time that we say goodbye. Before we go, I just have to say, uh, there's a lot of talent on this set today. Uh, Dushan, to start things off, I think, uh, I think you really did enjoy the epitome of fame and you still continue enjoying it up to date in different ways and means. And I think uh, as an artist, I think it's very important that you have multiple talents so that you can bring each talent out in different mediums. I think you've done it so great. And considering the fact that I was just a toddler when you came out, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you have done great. <laughs> Thank you, you, you look like my son now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dylan, uh, Hesh, I think you guys are just wonderful. You are so warm. You all remind me of hot chocolate. Just to, not the band, just like the, 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 the cup, the, like just a, just oh, a warm yeah. cup of chocolate to like sit and drink and like no stress. And that's yeah. always wonderful. Thank you so very much. Thanks for being such a great spirit. I just bug. You are so much, not you, I'm scared, <laughs> but, you, <laughs> but you, but thank you so very much. I hope you get a phone. Uh, <laughs> no, that's, that's never happening. Thank you. I'll, I'll get him. Man. Yes. She's also really sick. Um, that's a small phone. Okay. <laughs> I said I was throwing up, okay? Are you sure? Yeah. I was told both entries out. Yeah. <laughs> you were given wrong information, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we need to wrap things up on the show. Thank you so very much, guys, for being here. It has been absolutely amazing spending time with you on Date with Danu. Until we see you, we'll say a big thank you to our friends who have joined us on the show, Moven Pick Hotel, for their hospitality and for giving coffee every two minutes these ones wanted it. Uh, not forgetting our friends from Jonathan Studios for those brilliant photographs and Man in Checks for the fabulous wardrobe. Until I see you, take care and keep smiling.